Hey, welcome back everyone to Let's Play Astro Boy Omega Factor. Last time, we just landed on the moon. And because we've landed on the moon, that only means one thing. It is, it's time for us to battle on the moon. Now this part, you have to remember, there is a secret here. And what you need to do is... Just... There is a secret area here. And there you go. You have to make two, at least two good jumps, and probably a jet, to reach this area, and then punch that very, punch that very block you see here. Boy, you almost look like that to me. I'm Mars, Jet of Mars. I'm a new type of robot, Dr. Kawage Yama Yamaoi, have been developing. I'm just a prototype. But the production model should be ready by the year 2015. Uh, I can't wait. So we have Jetamars! Who is not related to Sailor Mars in any known fashion. Let's see. I haven't Great, anything other than punch. So, let's see. We have our shot. So, moving on. Got a lot of these little things just being a pain in the ass. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of finger beaming around here. Mega beam! Mega beam! Mega beam! Mega beam! Mega beam! And look at this, just... Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. Look. Look at Ellis. Pretty much that is the only way you can actually get around here because, well, since we're on the moon, well, it does kind of make sense. So, as we are dropping down here, shining finger! Shining finger! You know, they got a lot of big enemies around here. A lot of enemies. Shining Vinger! Shining Vinger! Shining Vinger! Shining Vinger! Yes, yeah, Shiny Finger. Yeah, there you go. The Shiny Finger Beam. Now, I know this is going to show up really, really slow as hell on my record, but you know what? I don't care. Sprite limitations and all that. Got a lot of giant enemies, you know? They all look 
like Pukas. I swear. They look like giant Pukas from Dig Dug. Nope. 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 Shiny finger! Shiny finger! Real Mega Buster! I mean, come on. Astro had the Mega Buster first, okay? Well, I think that does it here. So, in our next area, we are to... Take this thing on. Goblin shaped Roboid! Someone's got to be controlling them! I mean, really, guys. You think that's enough to stop Tetsuan Atom? Because if you really think that could actually stop Tetsuan Adam, oh, sirs, you are wrong. Okay. The power reactor is overheating, and it's discharging plasma. It could be dangerous. I better not touch it. Okay, and here is also another hidden character. And the way to find the same character is easy. All you need to do is follow this path and then you'll see something unusual. You see that area right there? This is what you need to do. Hit this spot right here and you have unlocked Full Moon! Who are you? My name is Orokoko. I'm a full moon. It's a new race. I came seeking the seed of disaster, potential danger to the earth. But I'm afraid that it's too late now. You must be careful now that the goddess of justice has left the universe. She's heading for the earth. So we've unlocked full moon. And this gives an another upgrade so this time I'm going for life now I know what you're thinking my setup is a bit different right well what happened was I tried to use a different recorder and what happened was as I was doing a recording for this part, it never showed. And plus, the recording showed up as... 38 minutes. Now... For its time, that's good, but... Here's the downside of it. This thing... This, re this one recording... That cost me 56, I believe 56 gigs. And when I actually checked my computer memory, I ended up with 63 gigs. So what I did was, I had to delete the recording because A, it did not pick up. B, my voice didn't pick up on it. And see, there ain't, there's no way in hell I would go past a gig for a recording. I mean, you know, from everything aside, you know, from my live videos, from my off-the-headset videos aside, no, nah, they ain't gonna, that's not gonna happen. 
therefore... Ooh. Is good. That's why I made a second, a second backup, just in case. So that's why my my upgrades are a bit different. So now that we have done so, let's drop down to the next stage. Now, this stage is pretty interesting because there's yet another character that we'll need for our, for our Omega Factor. And it's so very easy to miss this because I, I don't think I mentioned this. But like I said, it is so very easy to miss this character because the positioning, the positioning she's in is just... So very easy to miss. So what we need to do is get rid of these guys that are obstructing our path. Like a soul. Keep going up. Just keep going up. see that opening right there as soon as we get up here to get this character you must go all the way up here to the left and here we have Hecate or Hecate I prefer to call him Hecate who are you I'm Hikate, the daughter of a demon. I'm collecting bitterness and sorrow left by man as ingredients from her magic. There's a tremendous amount of bitterness and sorrow left here by two lovers whose dream didn't come true. I wonder what happened to them. So we have unlocked Hikate! So this time I'm going to upgrade my laser, and it gets thicker. So now that we have Hikate, we can proceed to where we're actually supposed to go, namely right here. Hey Daichi, you're alright! I'm Astro, I'm here to save you! Finally, Astro. I've been waiting for you. Let's see who's the best robot. What? Aren't you Daichi? <laughs> yes and no. The real Daichi died three years ago in an accident. But Dr. Tenma implanted Daichi's memory into me to build a machine dummy to take over his father's assets. I'm Atlas! Let's see what you're made of, Astro! Yeah. Let's see what you're made of, Asploman! <laughs> Bring it on! Well, okay, but... You asked for it, sir. As you can see, Astro's laser beam is just, just Onish. Hmm. I see you've become stronger. That's exactly what I was hoping to see. Hold on a second. Why do you, 
want to fight me anyway. To evolve. Evolve? Dr. O'Shea didn't create you. Dr. Tenma did. Just like he created me. Tenma was a heretic who was expelled by the science mystery. He believes that robots should rule over humans. And you and I are special robots who were created to serve that purpose. Just imagine if Dr. Wily created Mega Man instead of Dr. Light. Oh shit, that'd be messed up. We can constantly evolve to be the strongest so we can rule the world. What? Just look at me. I'm not a fully human, nor fully robot. I'm a monster. Oh, that Dr. Tenema, okay. You'll never understand what this feels like. But Dr. Tenema told me that if I defeat you, I'll be able to see past my own sorrow and become something never seen before. The ultimate evolution. Yeah, you know what? The same thing happened for Shadow, and guess what happened? Failure. So you see why I must use you to overcome my cursed fate. I shall become the ruler of this world. Here I come. Sorry, sir. You've been denied. You've been denied access, sir. Oh, very nice. What is this? Is this... A hyper, uh, hyper, a artificial hibernation capsule? Who is she? And what's she doing here? Who is she? Why do I feel like I know her? I can't remember. My head is about to split! We have to postpone our battle, Astral! Atlas! Hmm. That was the lame way to end it. But know this, Astro. There will be a day when you must put an end to this battle. He will overpower you now, since he has... Since he also has a human soul. You couldn't beat him now, even if you tried. Learn to feel sorrow and bitterness, just as Atlas has. Learn and evolve. Live to become what will be the greatest creation of my life. Stage four, Lord Dead Cross. So Alice is off. Ugh. Excuse me. So Alice is off to who knows where now. I wonder where he went. And who is that beautiful woman? So many questions and so many answers. And Mr. Tokugawa asked Dr. O'Shea to keep it all it's a secret. There's something funny going on here. Mr. Tokugawa is filthy rich. I don't know what he's up to now. You know why? Because I just want to know what Mr. Tokugawa was up to. Ooh, the dongos! Regardless of all... Regardless of all that, there's something much more important. A robot has been elected as the president of the Antarctic. The first time a robot has ever been elected as president. Ever! His official name is President Rag, and he's really good looking. He's so young and so full of energy. And Astro has been invited to the inaug inauguration ceremony. He's off to the Atlantic. And here I am, stuck at home, once again. Wow, so this is the Marine Express. This train, this underwater express train connects Metropia to the Antarctic. Such an honor to be invited to such an event to see the first robot president. But I wonder why Dr. O'Shea asked me to attend this event with you. He 
You may believe that something might be might go wrong at the inauguration ceremony. Ah. You may believe that something might go wrong at this inauguration ceremony. Rumor has it that the anti-robot group Black Looks is after the president. What's the matter, Astro? You don't look so good. Something wrong with your electronic brain? And what if what Atlas said was true? Who is Dr. Tenma, really? Was he the person who cre created me? And why didn't Dr. O'Shea didn't tell me about any of this? Atlas said that he was nothing but a monster. He said that I never understand the sorrow that he's faced. And my electronic brain is reacting like I've never felt before. If he, was, if he is a monster, then what does that make me? I don't understand. Maybe this is what sorrow feels like. Maybe my soul will start to grow just like humans. Flowers are blooming in the Antarctic! Welcome to the Antarctic, Astro! We, we are truly honored to have the President come here to greet us. So we have on our Omega Factor, Rug. So. I think just be a good upgrade. I am President Rag. Nice to meet you, Astro. I've heard many great things about you. We robots are very proud of you. It is my honor to meet you, sir. President, are you sure you're alright? I've heard that you're being targeted by black looks. Really? I know there are humans who are not happy with a robot being president. Yeah, some humans aren't pleased with a black man as a president either. But you know what? Screw them! However, that doesn't mean I will run or hide from them. That's right. I was elected president for a reason. The majority believes in me. I shall bring about change. Understanding and peace in the Antarctic. Uh, um, yes, certainly. I cannot imagine a leader not being a robot here in the Antarctic. So you can imagine anybody else but a robot being a leader in the Antarctic. Especially in a cold place like this that required the cooperation of robots. Without robot cooperation, the Marine Express would not have been built. And it was, and it was because of supporters like Duke Red that paved the way who kindly opened the Antarctic for robots. So you're Astro. I've heard many great things about you. Uh, you're too cred? Really? The International Counselor? Yes, robots like you are needed for the future of humanity. I hope you will get along with my daughter, Nuka. Oh, what's wrong, Nuka? It's father. It, it's father. It's father that we think. It's terrible. <laughs> father, the black rocks have destroyed the site. What? So we have unlocked Duke Red for justice. For greater justice in our own. Yes. So up further we find the black rocks. Destroy him! We'll never accept a, pre a, a robot as our president! Stop the violence! As I said before, they are... ...totally violating the first rule of robotics.
But then again, aren't you violating it? Why it looks human, but it's actually a robot. Destroy it! Destroy it! Hold it right there! You, out of here. We're not match for him! Let's get out of here! Thank you. My name is Nuka. You, you, you're also a robot? Yes, you saved my life. Thank you. Well, 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 I'm a robot. No, that, no, no, that, that, that's not the right... Wait, 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 what, 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 what am I looking for? My electronic brain is telling me something, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, Astral. It might be love. Or it might be lust. No, it's love. I'm getting some kind of special feeling, but it's difficult to express. Yeah, that's love. Astral! <laughs> eh. What are you daydreaming about? They're getting away! Go after them! Oh, 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 yes, yes. So we've unlocked Nuka for tenderness. That should be the boss. I'm not going to let him get away. Because I'm going to mega beam your ass. Everybody's getting mega beamed. Oh, come on, you guys. Give it up already, please. Give me a second here. I'm just want to see something. Okay, there's nothing here. So, uh, yeah, moving on. Just want to make sure. Take that, you son of a bitch! That's right, I'm just a decoy. Our task was to lure you away from the president. What? Have you heard of crabs? I've heard of crabs. It, 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 it's, it's not a pretty picture. It's the world's largest tech robot development in France. We succeeded in stealing crabs. And converted it into, and converted it into a flying bomb. So now it can fly to its target, the presidential palace. And guess what? Crabs is already headed for the presidential palace. Our invincible monster is equipped with the, top, the world's toughest shell. Astro, can you stop the bomb? For we have set up, set up the bomb. Oh no, the president and everyone at the palace are in danger. I have to go back now. And everybody's gone chibi. So, you fly your, yourself all the way back after learning that terrorists gone by the name of Black Looks are after the world's first robot president. You know what? I say it's time to roll out the big fat whammy on him. That's right. 
Rolling out the big fat whammy on everyone else. Full on mega buster on your ass. Great Justice Astro Boy. Let the world know who you are. Because these terrorists won't know who you are. Damn, that is big. That is big, sir. This must be crabs. Watch out, don't let it hit you. It has the weak point. Why, well, thank you for that. Interesting, interesting piece of advice, Astro. So really all you need to do is just focus your attacks on the head. And if you need to, if you really need to, go for the X dash if you really want to. But not just shoot it down. So that does it. They're done. And they should not be coming back. A very nice timing. Yes, the Antarctic is safe now. Well done, Astro. Great, Astro, you really are the world's strongest robot. Okay, let's get to the inaugural ceremony. But something happens. Everyone, thanks to you, I, Rag, am the first robot president of the world. Yeah, this this happened just, just about the time Obama finished his third term. All humans and all robots, please listen to me. As I said earlier, I am a robot. And robots were created by humans to help them. As a representative for robots, I say we are proud to work for humans. However, recently, some humans have begun to fear us. To fear robots with souls like Astro and myself. To those who fear us, please know this. We only want to work with humans like Astro and myself, and, of course, Mega Man. Look at the Antarctic right now. Flowers are blooming here where this was once a barren land. This was done through the accomplishments of both robots and humans. Let these flowers be the symbols of collaboration between humans and robots. Let the Antarctic be the first step towards peace between humans and robots. The president! <laughs> Watch and learn, robots! H who are you? I am Dead Cross! I'm the leader of Black Looks! Really? And represent humanity! Which part? My, my, such smooth talk from simple machines! Now listen to me! Robots are tools, nothing more than tools for humans to use. And that's the bottom line, cause Dead Cross said so. We create you and we can destroy you at our whim. This is our world, our human's world, and I accept nothing less. Hey, wait! 
and in our next episode, which I'm just going to read some more dialogue. Go! Go and destroy the robots! Understood. Sir, please, you've got to leave. Not so fast! So, in our next exciting episode, we are at the Marine Express. So, stay tuned. More Let's Play Astro Boy Omega Factor after this.